Solomon West Ridgeway Diaz Bandaranaika frequently referred to as SWRD Bandaranaika, was the fourth Prime Minister of Ceylon and founder of the left-wing and Sinhala nationalist Sri Lanka Freedom Party, serving as Prime Minister from 1956 until his assassination by a Buddhist robe wearer in 1959. Early Life and Education Bandaranaika was born in Colombo, Ceylon, to an elite Sinhalese Anglican Christian family and was the son of the powerful Sir Solomon Diaz Bandaranaik the Mahamudalaya of Horagola Warlaw in Athanegla, during British colonial rule, who named his son after West Ridgeway, the governor of Ceylon at the time and was his godfather. In later life he converted to Buddhism in order to join politics. He received his secondary education at St. Thomas College and went on to study modern greats at Christ Church, Oxford University, where he was secretary of the famous Oxford Union. He later qualified as a barrister in England. After having moved there in 1930s, it is also believed he was privately tutored and was sent to S. Thomas for sake of records, as it was a requirement to gain admission to a British university one had to be at a formal school. His stint at STC was very brief before he entered Oxford University. Political career As a young lawyer Bandaranaika became active in the Ceylon National Congress. He was elected to the Colombo Municipal Council in 1926. From 1931 to 1947 he served in the State Council of Ceylon. In order to promote Sinhala culture and community interests, Bandaranaika organized the Sinhala Maha Sabha in 1936. In 1946 he backed the United National Party and held ministerial posts from 1947 to 1951. In 1951, he led his Sinhala Maha Sabha faction out of the UNP and established the Sri Lanka Freedom Party. On the sensitive issue of language, the party originally espoused the use of both Sinhala and Tamil as national languages but in the mid-1950s it adopted a Sinhala-only policy. The party asserts it is a champion of the Buddhist religion, which had been attacked by local Christians and Tamils alike during the colonial era. The SLFP has customarily relied upon the socially and politically influential Buddhist clergy, the Sangha, to carry its message to the Sinhala villages. Since the 1950s, SLFP platforms have reflected the earlier organization's emphasis on appealing to the sentiments of the Sinhala masses in rural areas. To this basis has been added the anti-establishment appeal of non-revolutionary socialism. Bandaranaika became prime minister after winning the 1956 elections in a landslide, at the head of a four-party coalition with a no-contest pact with the Lanka Sama Samajar Party and the Communist Party of Sri Lanka. As such, he made Sinhala the official language of the country, downgrading the official status of English and promoting socialist, non-Western policies that profoundly changed the course of Ceylonese politics in the following decades. As Prime Minister, he took a neutralist stance in foreign policy. He removed the British air bases at Kataniak and China Bay and the naval base at Trincomalee. Domestically, he was faced by economic problems and disputes over languages. He is also remembered by the minority Sri Lankan Tamils for his failure to use the state's resources to control the 1958 riots, leading to many deaths of Tamil people at the hands of mobs. Assassination In his third year in office he died on September 26, 1959, aged 60, at the Merchants Ward of the Colombo General Hospital due to wounds received after being shot by Talu Somarama, a Buddhist monk. The previous day, September 25, Somarama had visited Bandaranaika at his private residence, Tintagel, in Rasmead Place, Colombo. Since Somarama was a member of the Buddhist clergy, he was not searched for weapons and given free access to the Prime Minister as he began his routine meetings with the public. When the monk's presence was intimated to him, Bandaranaika rose to greet him in the traditional Buddhist manner. The assassin then plucked out the revolver hidden in his robes and fired at the prostrate Prime Minister. The wounded Bandaranaika was rushed to hospital but died the following day despite six hours of surgery by Ceylon's most skilled surgeons. After Bandaranaika's death, Ijananda Dayanaik, Minister of Education and the leader of the House, took over as caretaker Prime Minister after being appointed by the Ceylonese Parliament. However, he fell out of favour with the members of the government 
resulting in the removal of all ministers of the Bandaranaika's cabinet in less than a year. Eventually the leadership of the Sri Lanka Freedom Party fell to Bandaranaika's widow Sirena Ratwatiya's Bandaranaika who was soon appointed a senator. She became the world's first female prime minister when another coalition led by the SLFP won elections in July 1960. Family Life He married Sirena Ratwat in 1940 and had three children. Sirena Ratwatiya's Bandaranaika, as she was known after her marriage, became the first female prime minister in the world following Bandaranaika's assassination. His daughter Chandrika Kumaratunga subsequently became prime minister and the first female executive president in the country. His younger son Anura Bandaranaika went on to become Speaker of the Parliament of Sri Lanka and a minister and his eldest Sunathra Bandaranaika is a prominent philanthropist. See also, SWRD Bandaranaika Cabinet, Bandaranaika Chelvainarakam Pact, List of Political Families in Sri Lanka. References External links the Bandaranaika Museum, the Bandaranaika Ancestry, the Ratwat Ancestry, Golden Memories of a Political Prodigy, Commemorating the Bandaranaikas, the Emergence of the Political Middle Class, the Pensive Premier, 49 Years After SWRD Bandaranaika, Trailblazing Leader, the Great Son of Sri Lanka, Website of the Parliament of Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka Freedom Party's official website, this page incorporates text from the Library of Congress's Country Studies series.